the reality is that human beings are far safer from climate than we've ever been. And this seems insane if you look at the news, but it seems obvious if you look in practice. Like, would you rather live in the winter 100 years ago or now? Would you rather live in the summer 100 years ago or now? Would you rather live through a storm 100 years ago or now? And what you get is that, wait, there's our climate conditions. That's one thing. And then there's our ability to master those conditions. And what matters the most is our ability to master it. And we we can quantify this. We have climate-related disaster death statistics that tell us how many people are dying of extreme heat, extreme cold, uh, storms, floods, wildfires, et cetera. And those deaths, this is shocking to people, and it was shocking to me when I learned it, but those deaths are down 98% in the last 100 years, which means the average person around the world is 1 50th as likely to die of a climate-related disaster than they used to be. And then if you think why, it's pretty obvious fossil fuels have a huge role because they power all the machines that neutralize climate danger. So heating and air conditioning might be obvious, but something like irrigation and crop transport for drought relief is just as big. Or the machines that build sturdy buildings that keep us safe from storms or the machines involved in weather warning systems. Like We are unnaturally safe from climate. So what we've done is we've mastered an enormous amount of natural climate danger. So insofar as we are adding or changing uh, na- climate danger, we have those same mastery abilities. And those abilities will continue to grow as we have more freedom, more discovery, et cetera. So anyone who talks about the threat of climate impact, but they don't mention that we have so far been masters of it and that fossil fuels have made us safer, I call them climate mastery deniers. And that is rampant, unfortunately, among scientists. It's not that they're so wrong about climate science, but that they ignore and deny climate mastery, which would be like, you know, you you just you ignore the fact that with polio, like you just look at polio, but you don't look at the fact that we have a polio vaccine, like that you cannot think of it rationally without paying attention to mastery. 